Hello everyone, and today we have a follow-up video to the most recent one about this little Hitachi here that is able to receive video signals. And I went through on that video, I read the comments and stuff like that and ideas to try and in order to get down to the bottom of it. So, this video is trying some different things and seeing what happens, experimenting, all that jazz. I, one thing I'd like to say before you get into this, I still don't understand the exact video signal that these TVs are able to figure out and receive. If you haven't watched the prior video about the little Hitachi TV, I recommend you watch it before watching this video. But with that, let's get into the video. When it comes to this, I've been messing with it, trying to figure out what's going on. And I want to show some things that I discovered or figured out. So, first thing first. The best part of the band here for reception is around channel 71 right here. If I adjust around here, you can see there's snippets and parts. But it doesn't lock in in comparison as good as 71. And also it locks in quite well on channel 31. One ish, and at the bottom of the dial here, if I then adjust horizontal hold, you can get to lock in. Next, if you go down to on the bottom of the band here, there's noise, but I can't get it to lock in in any sort of way. Then I'll bump up to VHF and around channel 9 or so. I can get the picture to kind of sort of lock in or whatever. It might just be interference from another band or whatever. I've had that with old TVs or whatever where they go over each other's band. Next thing I've noticed, it's not my monitor. Neither of them. Or in this case, not only. I've went around and did some testing and let me show an example. First, I'm going to turn off my computer so everything's completely off. Everything is completely powered down, and as you can see, there is maybe some light interference here and there, but no clear video signals. All right, so let me get a laptop. All right, so we have my laptop booted up here. So I also have it plugged into the wall, because it needs to charge or whatever, and no video signal. None at all, with or without it being plugged in. Now, here's the sort of crazy part. Let's say I want to decide to plug a monitor into it. I got my trusty one right here. I'm going to plug it into the laptop. All right, so we got the laptop here going. Got the HMI plug in here. And I'm going to try to get these on screen but both at the same time. Let's plug it in. Let's turn it on. And let's tune to where our signal would be. So here we got our signal. It's picking it up. My monitor just goofy stuff sometimes, which is cool. Here's it. It's unplugged disappears stays the same on the laptop now if we plug it in again I'm gonna try to get it all to show up here all at once I plugged in here all the way now it shows up on here and then I can just to get the picture lock in. Now, it only isn't just this display. What I found is if I change resolutions, it'll always opt to the display with the highest resolution. So if I set up these two displays, it'll always show up on this monitor because it's higher res than this one. If I 
decrease the resolution of this one by a lot and have this monitor also plugged in, it'll suddenly change where it's picking up this monitor in comparison to this monitor. Yeah. Now, next thing to confirm that it isn't a monitor, let's try out a TV I got. All right, here we got our combination here. A little TV, picks up nothing. Got our laptop here, which I need to plug in. All right, so we got the monitor on here, or the TV, got HDMI plugged into it. Now, got our little TV here. Plug it in to the monitor or the laptop over here. Okay. So here's it inserted. Then when it comes down to the monitor here. So you can see here, we got it displaying now. It's weaker on here. Some monitors I've had it were stronger. I've also tried this on a plasma TV and different interference, but it's still a picture in it. All right, so as you can see here, we got the signal showing up or whatever. Phone ran with storage, so that's nice. So I delete some stuff. Again, if you need proof, I'll unplug it. I'm to kind of figure out this thing here. Lose signal. It's hard to do this on camera. But now it suddenly shows up on here. So there's ability to any time that's anything plugged into the wall that has video through it, it will show up on this. That's what I figured out at this point. So anything such as monitor, this monitor, this monitor, anything that has video that gets applied to the wall will then get picked up to this TV. The exception to this is when I plug in this laptop, but that's because video isn't through it, or it's just power going into the laptop person to video that can leak out, which is why when I plug it in, it doesn't work. At least I think. Now, next thing here is a bit quirky. All right, so when it comes to my computer here, as you can see, we got nothing, this computer isn't on. So, fire it up. And we will hit power on there and we will get a video signal, which will be output on here and will be distorted, but sort of lock in on here. So we get the computer to boot up here into Linux or whatever. Same thing with Windows, it does the same thing, it doesn't matter. So now let's unplug this. So we'll have it unplugged. And again, anything that has power that has a video signal that can leak out. So we will unplug my DVI here. Nothing. In so now there's no signal. Cool. Now let me show you something. So that's a picture on a monitor or whatever. Now, if we unplug the EJ part, we'll still treat that there's a monitor there. We will still get a picture. As you can see. No display is plugged in. All it is is this plugged in. Now it has to think there's a signal in order for this to work. There's removing the VGA, so no analog at this point. Just D, uh, not just D, 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 display port to HDMI. We got a picture. So the computer can output a video signal, or when it outputs a video signal and it thinks there's a monitor, you can see it on here. It doesn't matter if there's a monitor plugged in, any of that. Now, all right, so our second to last example. The last example I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the adjusting the resolutions and fresh rates on my screen here with my computer but i want to show this part first this was mostly by accident because i was just walking around with the little tv to see what else i could see 
and let's plug in the switch. Power. I don't know what was being played on this last, but let's uh, let's plug it in. So I'll get it plugged in into the display. So we got it on here. Now we're gonna now we're gonna put the little TV nice and close to here. And let's see if it'll pick it up. I was able to get a faint signal. This is what the switch plugged in. It picks up this. Weird noise, whatever. Now we're going to go, go into settings. We're going to go to display resolution and now we're going to drop it down to 4P. And when I did this, I was able to get a decent picture. Oh, and just before I finish doing this, just again, we got our two cables here, HDMI, power. Just running to the back of this LCD here, power, whatever, then HDMI. You can see, the picture goes away. Then when I plug it back in, picture comes back. All right, to conclude this video, we are going to go through and check a few resolutions. I got it set up for 320 by 240, progressive scan. That's it. Squish on here. And it really brings out how weird the picture is how weirdly pixelated and everything else. I can't, this is as good as I can get the picture to lock in. Or as the separate fields or whatever. Now she'll try it in interlaced. Interlaced. And start. And let's see here. We now have a picture. It's gonna be a very distorted. Oh. Let's test it again. A distorted picture, a very snowy picture. But yeah, it's there. It's just very, I'm gonna say, hard to receive or whatever. So yeah, it's been a it's been a long few hours. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please consider liking, and subscribing, comment down below if you have any more ideas, things to try. I'll try to put it in the comments. I don't think I'm gonna make necessarily another video because there's not much more I can video on. The thing is, is the video signals that this thing's picking up on is stumping me. I don't know what it is. I've tried VGA, tried HDMI. Try display port, try DVI, which is currently working right here. Doesn't matter what it is. It always picks it up. It's always distorted. Doesn't matter if I use my computer. Doesn't matter what display I use. It just appears. I also did some a little bit more checking, and it turns out I do have one more TV that does do this. And it's a 11 inch black and white set. That yeah. Very interesting, very in very interesting phenomenon that I can't explain, and hopefully someone will be able to explain, as this will be not a slight part two, but just to add on to the video morally. But yeah, thank you for checking out the channel, and I saw I got a uh, hundred subs, which is pretty cool. So yeah, thank you.